And now back to get ready for it. I'm talking with Coach Steve Roberts. Steve, what advice can you give to young people who want to prepare for an important basketball match? Well, my advice is the same for all sports. Practice often, three times a week if you can. Look after your body. Should you have a big meal before a game to give you energy? No. You can't play on a full stomach. A good meal two or three hours before a match is chicken or fish, potatoes and salad. If you're still hungry, a good snack is some fruit and lots of water. What else? Sleep is important for your body and your brain. You don't have to sleep more than usual, but you shouldn't go to bed late the night before a game. In a basketball game, my players have to think quickly and move quickly. Anything else? You should always do a good warm up. Start with some exercises to get your muscles ready for hard work. And one more very important thing you have to stay positive. You don't win a match only with practice, you win because you think you can win. Thanks, Steve. That's great advice. I'm sure. Audio 2.54. And now back to get ready for it. I'm talking with Coach Steve Roberts. Steve, what advice can you give to young people who want to prepare for an important basketball match? Well, my advice is the same for all sports practice often, three times a week if you can. Look after your body. Should you have a big meal before a game to give you energy? No, you can't play on a full stomach. A good meal two or three hours before a match is chicken or fish, potatoes, and salad. If you're still hungry, a good snack is some fruit and lots of water. What else? Sleep is important for your body and your brain. You don't have to sleep more than usual, but you shouldn't go to bed late the night before a game. In a basketball game, my players have to think quickly and move quickly. Anything else? You should always do a good warm up. Start with some exercises to get your muscles ready for hard work. And one more very important thing you have to stay positive. You don't win a match only with practice. You win because you think you can win. Thanks, Steve. That's great advice. I'm sure. Audio 13. Dad. Can I go to Maria's house? We have to finish our history project for next week. No, you can't go, Karen. You have a maths test tomorrow, remember? I know, but I was studying for that when you came home from work. I finished my revision ten minutes ago. Are you sure? Give me your book and let's see. Oh, OK. Here you are. Right. What's the answer to this question? Uh, um, wait a minute. Uh, um... Karen, what were you really doing when I came home? I was playing video games. Sorry, Dad. Oh, dear. Well, I think you should study harder and you shouldn't play video games. OK. And go to bed early. You have to sleep well before a test. What time should I go to bed then? Half past nine. Dad, that's too early. OK. Ten. But you don't have to study after nine o'clock. You have to relax before you sleep. And tomorrow, you should put your calculator in your school bag. Yes, Dad. Look, I made you some cheese on toast. You have to eat when you study. Thanks, Dad. Audio 13. Dad. Can I go to Maria's house? We have to finish our history project for next week. 
No, you can't go, Karen. You have a maths test tomorrow, remember? I know, but I was studying for that when you came home from work. I finished my revision ten minutes ago. Are you sure? Give me your book and let's see. Oh, okay. Here you are. Right. What's the answer to this question? Uh, um. Wait a minute. Uh, um. Karen, what were you really doing when I came home? I was playing video games. Sorry, Dad. Oh dear. Well, I think you should study harder, and you shouldn't play video games. Okay. And go to bed early. You have to sleep well before a test. What time should I go to bed then? Half past nine. Dad, that's too early. Okay, ten. But you don't have to study after nine o'clock. You have to relax before you sleep. And tomorrow you should put your calculator in your school bag. Yes, Dad. Look, I made you some cheese on toast. You have to eat when you study. Thanks, Dad.